Hello, I'm Darren McGee and welcome to my Mental Health Information and Awareness channel. Now today's topic comes from the question, what is meant by the term gaslighting? Now if you like this video, if you find it helpful, please check out my other videos on mental health related topics and please consider subscribing to my channel. Now the term gaslighting comes from an old black and white movie, a movie in which a husband tries to convince his wife that she's insane and he tries to do it with small subtle actions. Things like he hides one of her belongings and when she comes looking for it, he wonders what she's looking for because she, he tells her she doesn't own one of those. But then he puts it back the following day and when she appears with it saying, look, I find it, I do own one of those, he acts confused. He's no idea what she's talking about. He denies that conversation ever took place. Or where the term comes from, he dims the gas lights in the house at night claiming they're fine, there's nothing wrong with them, while she can clearly see them flicker. He's trying to convince her that all these things are in her imagination, trying to convince her that she is crazy so that he can steal her inheritance. So the term has become something of a colloquialism uh, as a form of psychological manipulation where someone tries to have someone else doubt their own sense of reality, their own memory, their own experience. And they do it by sowing seeds of doubt. They try to have someone question their own judgment, their own perception. And anyone can be a gaslighter. It can be a friend, a work colleague, an organization, cult leaders, dictators. It is commonly associated as say, a narcissistic tactic, a toxic person's tactic, though not everyone who gaslights is necessarily a narcissist. Some people are just toxic by nature. Some people are desperate for attention. Uh, bad, bad attention is better than none at all. Some just have such low self-esteem. They struggle when they're being called out on something. And I think it's fair to say that we can all lie. We can all embellish stories from time to time. Make ourselves seem more interesting or make a story funnier. That is not necessarily gaslighting. So for today, I'm gonna to focus on gaslighting as a form of psychological manipulation. I'm gonna give some examples of some common gaslighting tactics. So first of all, remember, it is a tactic that is aimed at making another person or, or a group of people doubt their own experiences, doubt themselves. Now, it doesn't always have to come out as, say, a blatant lie. It can be quite subtle, and usually it's quite subtle at first. For example, someone could be saying something, telling a story, reporting something. A toxic person may challenge even just one small detail. And the other person may be fine with that. Well, okay, maybe I am wrong about that. And they'll just go on with their story. The person may admit they're wrong. That's fine. However, the next time they are telling something or even calling out that toxic person's behavior, the abusive person, what they tend to do then, they use that past situation to discredit them. And they will keep on discrediting them. They will keep on finding more and more. Well, if you got that bit wrong, this bit must be wrong as well. What they're doing is they're getting that other person to question their own integrity, question their own memory. Now on the other side of that, if they are being challenged on something, if, the, if that toxic person is being pulled on something they did or said, if they cannot openly deny it or claim it didn't happen or whatever, what it changes to is, well, what I meant was, and what they claim what they really meant was is usually something completely unrelated. It's got nothing to do with what they did or said. And I would liken that to saying to someone that you really hate them, they're horrible people. And then when being pulled on it saying, no, what I meant was, it looks like it's going to rain later. And the what I meant was tactic, it's often um, what they meant was is usually something maybe that's not that unreasonable. It's still got nothing to do with what they said. But now we have a completely different discussion, a completely different argument. And the victim can sometimes be led to believe that they're arguing over something that perhaps they even agree with. Now, when being gaslit, generally, generally people can sense, they can sense intuitively that something's wrong, something doesn't quite fit. But because the gaslighting can at first anyway be so minor and at times very insidious, the person starts to doubt their own memory. They second guess their own emotions, their own experiences. All the while though, they're finding it difficult to actually pinpoint what is actually wrong. If you will, with a toxic person, say in a relationship, for example, they're brainwashing their victim a piece at a time to question themselves. The common tactics in gaslighting include distraction, 
deflection, outright blatant lies. Sometimes these lies can be so outrageous that the gaslighter keeps on telling them. Sometimes they can be little minor white lies, um, mixed with a little bit of truth. One way or another, the lies are accepted as normal. The subject just keeps changing as well, so nothing is ever resolved, nothing is ever agreed on. Over time, the victim just stops challenging the nonsense and may even resign themselves to believing, well, I must be at fault for bringing this up. Another tactic is wearing someone down. Keeping an argument going round and round in circles, persistently telling someone, for example, how wrong they are for saying no, or just to keep on asking until they give in. Using word salad, a circular reason, the whole time the victim's trying to interpret gibberish, but being told they're not making sense themselves when they're just trying to explain something. Then there's the denial, the denial that something happened, or perhaps it happened differently. The victim's confusion is actually used against them. Now, I made a video on what I often call toxic amnesia. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. A common gaslighting phrase would be, it's only a joke. Now, that leads someone to believe that they are overreacting for being offended or humiliated. There's something wrong with them for feeling the way they feel when they're being insulted because the gaslighter is telling them there was no harm meant by it. Another common phrase and may come in different forms, but I was only having a healthy debate. We don't learn anything unless we debate. When the truth is, there's absolutely nothing healthy about it. Now, you might see a lot of this on social media, not just in real life, but that healthy debate, you know, especially they keep throwing in um, other people's opinions, articles, videos, things like that to reinforce their own point. Look, everybody agrees with me, even the experts. You know, your friends, your family, they agree with me as well because they all say it's known as triangulation. Now, the, the evidence that they offer just to support their own nonsensical stance, it's barely related to the original claim. And if they are challenged, let's say social media, for example, or a group or whatever, they're challenged, they're banned, they're barred, they're warned against, whatever. They're now claiming that free speech is being shut down. They're gaslighting everyone into believing that they are a victim. You know, I was removed because I challenged the authority, things like that. They're absolutely no responsibility, no regard for their own antagonizing. And it doesn't matter how, how intellectual or self-righteous they may appear. Another phrase they often use is, and uh, I'll be honest, this is one that had me tied up in knots for years. I don't understand. doesn't matter what it is don't understand. What you said was offensive. Don't understand. You wear yourself out. You go insane trying to explain yourself over and over to someone who's pretty much committed themselves not to understanding. And, and let's be honest, some gaslighters, they feed off that frustration. They feed off that energy. They get a kick out of it. Other times, other times, they may be hoping that frustration that brings about a reaction that they can point at to prove how insane you are. Because one way or another, gaslighting destabilizes the victim's sense of reality. They are exposed to so much invalidation, so much misinformation, misdirection, contradiction, that their confidence in their own ability to distinguish between what is real, what is being disorientated, what is being twisted, that is completely undermined. And the long-term effects of this could be at some point in the future. You know, someone is telling you that story, they're embellishing it just to make it funnier. All of a sudden, they're being triggered and being gaslit again. They can find it very hard to trust anyone, never mind themselves. And in the meantime, the abuser, the toxic person, they are thriving on, they rely on their victim's sense of uncertainty. That diminished self-esteem and self-confidence. Here's the thing. You see, when they're eventually exposed, they're left, they're abandoned, they're banned, whatever it is, left to just believe their own lies. They will use those same strategies to recruit agents or, as they're sometimes known, flying monkeys. They use those same tactics to recruit those, to get people to believe them. They'll tell stories where they are the hero or the victim. It's the target that is the villain. It's the people that called them out are now the villain. So there are my thoughts on what gaslighting is. Now I'm sure there's many things I've left out. So if you have any comments, queries on this video, anything I may have missed, 
please use the comment box below. I do like reading and responding to your comments whenever I can. If you like this video, if you find it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for future updates on mental health related topics. And until next time, thanks for watching.